Thanks for that, John. Well, sometimes we all look for ways to replace a quote-unquote real meal with something fast and nutritious. There's a lot of hype out there, but here's John Hammerly with some expert advice. All right, Lori. Way in time. Okay, let's, let's check it out. I think we got good news this week. Okay. You are 192 pounds. That means you have lost an average of a pound a week over the last seven weeks. That is excellent. All right. And what have you done to do that? Uh, portion control, breakfast. And Those what about? Those things are different. Okay, that's excellent. What about exercise? How many days oh, a week? Oh, really? Boost it every day. Every day for how yeah. long? At least an hour. That just shows that losing weight is difficult. It doesn't just, we can't just exercise and we can't just eat less. It takes that combination to really Sometimes I'm busy, so we got to do meal replacements. Let's talk about that Okay. Now. All right. Lori, I'm a busy, fast-paced reporter. Sometimes, especially in the middle of the day, I don't have time to do all your hints about a full meal. Well, you could do a meal replacement. Okay. Now, there's a variety of things you could do. You could do a drink. This is an Ensure, 25 grams of protein, 210 calories. This is a pure protein. It only has 160 calories, but it has 30 grams of protein. What's your sort of dividing line? I want at least 200 calories, and I want at least 20 grams of protein. Okay. So if you had this, I'd eat an apple with it. So you okay. get up there over 200 calories. Right. There's some bars. The um, pure protein, this is a um, pure protein, 20 grams of protein bar, and it has... Um, couple hundred calories in it. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a different... A meets your standard. It meets my standard. A Cliff Builder Bar also meets the standard. Um, now, sometimes that's just not enough volume. So there's frozen meals you can do. Now, all frozen meals are not equal, even if they're from the same company. So my guidelines for a frozen meal are at least 20 grams of protein, between 200 and 400 calories, and I like to say less than 700 milligrams of sodium. Why to, is that important? Well, everybody needs to watch their salt. Um, and so the guidelines for all Americans is 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day. And if you have high blood pressure, um, as low as 1,500 milligrams of sodium. So I don't want you to get 1,000 milligrams of protein or of sodium in one meal. So I went through um, the freezer you, section. You didn't have an easy time finding stuff that met your criteria. No. So many of them, they were fine calorie-wise, but they didn't have enough protein. If you don't get enough protein, you're going to be hungry pretty soon after that meal. So um, I think these are all decent brands, but within these brands, I had to look hard to find meals that worked. So I have to be one of these people that are standing in the aisles Looking, looking and, yes. and, and checking it out, because numbers are important. Yes, one other thing you can always do, get yourself some pre-washed greens, put a can of salmon or a can of tuna on top, have pour on some vinaigrette dressing, and have a few crackers with it, and that will give you a meal that meets those criteria. Um, I'm kind of a person who likes real food, and yeah. so that would be my choice. Uh, these are all good suggestions. The next time we get together, you know what we're going to talk about? Something that people I hear on all ends of the spectrum mm -hmm. is a calorie, a calorie, a calorie. Oh, that'll be a good topic. Okay.